cool when you think that. Oh, yeah, he's oh, yeah. Uh, Today on Logan Lee Adventures. They grew up together from the young age. Ah, okay. That's why they are used to each other. Yeah. <laughs> it's another beautiful day in South Africa. So we're driving on this really bumpy, oh, and I think it's really bumpy, rocky road in just outside of this town in the Free State called Bethlehem. And we're going to check into our accommodation at the Big Cat Sanctuary, which is what I think it's called. Oops. Which is what I think it's called. And then I can get rid of my hiccups while I'm drinking lots of water. So we're driving on this really bumpy road. It's about 13 kilometers out of Bethlehem. As you can see, the sky is blooming. We have to go th through this gate to get to our accommodation. So, seems legit. There's even a guard. Just by driving from the largest gate to our large reception area, we passed by a jaw-dropping amount of wildlife. From free-roaming antelopes, zebras by the herds, nibbling squirrels, springboks, water buffaloes, and ostriches. It was like our very own safari drive in this private estate. Here we go up to the lodge. Pretty, pretty from here. This is our quaint room that we just checked into that overlooks the pool and the rest of the sanctuary. Honestly, it's such a beautiful view straight from here, but I don't know if the camera can catch it. Let's see, yep, it can. Look at that. Just endless miles of that blue and green. Can't wait to dive into that pool later. But this is our room. It's really nice. Mind you, we're basically in the middle of the sanctuary. And here's the washroom. And then here, we walk out. That pool, it's so nice. And you can see the lake from the reserve and the mountains here. And we have this nice fireplace here for the evenings. And this is the entrance that we came in. So we're gonna chill a little bit on wine, and then later on in this afternoon and at 3 p.m. we have a game drive so this whole place the big cat sanctuary is exactly what its name implies it's a sanctuary for big cats from all over the world so they rescue you know tigers lions that have been mistreated and abandoned in zoos and even animals that come from the current war in Syria they it comes here to the sanctuary and then is treated and is taken care of. So this is the big organization behind this beautiful lodge. For our game drive, we're just gonna head down now to go dip into the pool. Here's our safari trail. Donkey, any cacas? 
Okay. We can only feed them to the lions if they die. Uh, only if they die due eventual cause. We don't kill them for feeding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. I wish I could share to you better the feeling that overcame Yerun and I here. Mixture of excitement, wide eye, like we were experiencing the world again for the first time. The hair on our arms standing up to attention for how close we are standing next to these majestic wildlife creatures. Damn, the mane on these lions are so regal, so majestic. They are huge being this up close to them. I've seen them on safari in the Serengeti before, but this intimacy right here is another level at the sanctuary. The big cat's habitats, which includes large areas for family groups, medical care facilities, enrichments that encourage natural behaviors in the big cats here at the sanctuary. So amazing learning about the rehabilitation efforts at this place. I mean, you see these big cats coming from all over the world, a lot of them coming from Eastern Europe, and you know they're being rescued here, and then being, you know, slowly, slowly rehabilitated. Tigers aren't native to South Africa, but these here were rescued from the circuses that were brought over to be rehabilitated and spend the rest of their lives healing and enjoying a safer environment to live. More than 100 big cats are currently living at the sanctuary, mostly lions, but also tigers and leopards and cheetah. The rescue animals originate from all over the world, from war-torn countries, defunct zoos, to neglectful breeders. Austria, Bulgaria, Congo, France, Germany, Switzerland, Jordan, Serbia, Romania, even Iraq and Syria. He's fat. Just looks like low hanging skin. I got fat so much when Yeah no. Normally in the circus is the own so leg of leg of calcium. Can cause that hanging tummy. You hear the the tigers they roll. That's a tiger. Okay. And they roll like lions. Mm -hmm. But not loud. Lions they are very loud. You hear them before you go bed to yes? Leopard and cheetahs, they don't, they don't roll. These big cats were born in captivity, so now they're not going to be released back into the wild because they don't have the hunting skills and they're used to being with, oh, being with animals. I mean, being with humans. So I'm just like shocked. <laughs> This is such an incredible feeling because this is just in the backyard of our lodge. It's not a separate property, it's literally part of the lodge and by staying at the lodge we help sustain the operations of the sanctuary and well care of these big cats. Funny that they are cats, I forget that when they look so ferocious compared to the little domesticated felines we're used to.
You can hear the lion roaring right now all the way from camp. It's so epic hearing the lion roaring all the way from our lodge and they're all the way down there too. I hope you guys enjoyed this freaking epic so, uh, like sanctuary drive just as much as we do. I'm, I was like a loss for words. I lost my words like throughout, especially when the tiger came out and right, it's right behind me. That was really cool. So we're gonna freshen up just before dinner and then for dinner I'm gonna show you guys just the end of the night and then that's it. We can just enjoy this paradise right here. Now this is how you chill before dinner by the pool. Mm -hmm. It looks so good. What do we have here? What's this one? This is chicken society. Ooh, and then my chops. Oh. We are having a braai. So a braai is a not just a barbecue. Never say it's a barbecue to Afrikaans. Never. It's more than just a word. It's an occasion. It's all about the meat over charcoal or wood. And as you can see, this meat here definitely is an occasion. This looks nice. That looks so nice. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Yes. Down. Good. I'm gonna eat until I pass out. Bye guys. Mm -hmm. Woo! That has got to be one of my top favorite South African adventures thus far here at the sanctuary with the drive. And that's a very competitive South African list. Hit subscribe while I munch out, give this video a like, leave us a comment, or even a lion emoji below. We have more wild South African adventures in the next video for you to come.